All right, guys, so what are my top four tips for attacking the data interpretation questions of the GRE? Well, in the second installment of our Kaplan GRE YouTube videos, what I will affectionately call episode two, Attack of the Graphs, I'm going to show you guys all about how to beat data interpretation questions. All right, so my first tip is to interpret the graphs first. Some of my students at the outset of class, they want to get to the question because they weren't rushing so fast. They get to the question, then they go back and they look at the graphs and they miss something important. Like maybe they're looking at a graph from the wrong year, or maybe they've mistaken a unit, right? That's really important. And they end up missing a point that they could get if they just took a pause at the beginning to understand what are the axes of the graphs represent, or if it's a, a pie graph, you know, what year is it from, who's involved, who are we talking about? If you do that at the outset, it really helps you then move through the questions very efficiently. All right, tip number two, you must know how to set up proportions. Equivalent fractions are my jam. I love them. They're like the Swiss army knife of math techniques that we can use all across this test. All right, but they're especially important in data interpretation questions, which will typically ask us to solve with percentages. So we have to know how to go from percentages to whole numbers and back again. So know how to set up proportions. All right, tip number three, make sure you know how to calculate percent change. One of their favorite questions to ask is what is the percent change from this year to this year? All right, so make sure you know how to put the, either the increase or the decrease over the original amount and calculate the percentage. All right, tip number four, you want to make sure you spot the word approximately if they give it to you. It's so much better to calculate 20% of something than it is 21 or 22%. You can approximate. Bonus tip number five, didn't know this was coming here, guys, but it kind of works in conjunction with that last tip, right, of, of approximating is that you need to know how to convert common percentages to fractions. Because it's so much easier instead of plugging in, you know, 0.2 whatever into your calculator just to say, you know what, I'm going to round to 20%, one fifth. I know how to multiply that fraction. I can do it in my head. I got my point. All right, guys, so there you go. Your, your top four tips plus a bonus tip for attacking the data interpretation questions of the GRE. Talk to you soon. Bye.